Good morning. It's Wednesday, November 17th. In this rant, when I talk about free, it's really not free. It means that we have prepaid it through our taxes. There's nothing free in many countries of the world. It appears to be free, but those people are paying taxes, and we are paying taxes. But we are afraid to pay more taxes for things that we really should be taking care of. And yesterday, I had a long conversation with a good friend of mine from the Y, and we talked about paid family leave. And he made the comment that paid family leave is free in almost every major developed country in the world. And yet we cut our paid family leave from 12 weeks down to four weeks in this reconciliation package. I thought about paid family leave. I thought about it in terms of the whole package, child care, education, medical. I think it's very important that women have time after childbirth to recover fully, to get back to their physical self, their physical strength. And 12 weeks is probably not a lot not enough time in all cases. And then there's the options of taking care of family members who have grown old and ill. And maybe you've got a child that has problems. So paid family leave should be part of our education system. And so should child care be part of our education system. And those are free items. If you have the money and you want to pay extra for child care, that's fine. But this thing with child care and paid family leave and pre-K schooling is very important. It's very important and there's no reason in the world why all of those things should be considered education. And we love free education. I mean, our education in this country is free up to the end of high school. And why should these items be considered as part of education and free until the end of high school. Forget about this ridiculous nonsense about giving free community college. If we made all these other items free, then we could pay for community college. There's no reason to single out community college for being free. If you can make it free, that's great. If not, you can't. And I went to school. I went to school for nothing. I went to grad school. I went to CCNY. I didn't pay much, $4 a semester. I paid more in grad school, right? But when I was working, I was working when I was in grad school, so the companies I worked for paid for my grad school. In fact, when I went to work for Publishers Clearinghouse, they did not have a tuition refund program in place. And when I mentioned to them that I was going to grad school, they created a a tuition refund program for the whole company. So that's what it is. That's what this country is all about. That's what we should be all about. We should not be fighting over this nonsense. We should figure out a way to do this. All of these other countries have developed a way to do this. Then we can do it. And one of the things we should look at look at very closely is the way we treat our employees. When you have a man who has worked for a company for 19 years and is a a foreman, a supervisor, and he's making $19.65 an hour and the company is making billions and refusing to give a guy like that a raise. And if you look at the money we pay, piss away on CEOs and high-level executives where they make a thousand times more than their lowest paid employee. And when you look at a country like Japan, which is a pretty good country in all respects, you know, 
They put a cap on what CEOs can make. CEOs in Japan can only make, I don't know, 100 times what their lowest employee makes. Or maybe it's 200 times. I haven't looked the number up, but I know that's the case. And I know that because my son graduated from Colgate University with a degree, and he worked in Japan. He could speak Japanese, and he worked in Japan for two and a half years as a English translator for businessmen. And then when he came back to the States, he got a job with Mitsubishi as a translator. So I know a little bit about Japanese culture and everything. And I know it's very difficult for them to say no to anything, because I've done some work with them beside that. But getting back, getting back to paid family leave and education and child care and the billions of dollars that we probably piss away in this country. You think about it. I want you all to sit out there and think about it. Don't you think it all should be part of the educational system in this country? Why are we so worried about paying for these things? You can figure out a way to pay for these things. And there shouldn't be any resistance. The future of this country lies in the fact that we have healthy people and people who are willing to work and people who know that they're going to be taken care of. And we're not talking about communism or socialism here. We are talking about creating decent human beings, creating an atmosphere of friendliness and happiness and taking the worries out of life. We have too many people living at the edge in this country. In this country, we have 50 million people at the poverty line. Is that good? Is that something we should be proud of? We should be proud. We don't get family leave. Child care is very expensive. We got 50 million people living at the poverty level, and you think that this is a great country? I don't know how anybody could even think this is a great country. And then I throw in the divisiveness and the belief that small government is better than big government. Well, small government may be good, but who's taking up the slack? And large government may be bad. And maybe they're powerful rulers, and that's why large government is no good. But there's no reason for us to have small government, and there's no reason for us to have 50 different little enclaves in this country that all want to do something different because they have, they have rights, you know. So there I am, I'm off topic again. The real topic is why can't paid family leave, child care, pre-K, why can't all of those things be considered as part of education? I ask you that question. I ask you to think about that. And you can come back to me anytime. Email me back what you think. So that's what I have for this morning, and I'll see you in the morning tomorrow. Bye.